Now for anyone who may be in the queue system longer and haven't gotten your card yet, I do want to point out something very important to you that I discovered on the UGA website after some testing. All right guys, I'm Joe, this is Pinky Tech. I'm gonna jump right into it here. So how does the queue system work? Pretty easy actually. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the evga.com website. Now you need to make sure that you already have an EVGA account set up. If not, go ahead and set one up. Once you have your account set up, just go ahead and browse over to whichever product you're interested in. I'm gonna go ahead and choose one of these 3080s. And then all you're gonna do is click on auto notify. Now from here, you'll need to fill out your name and email address, and that's it. You're in the queue. Now remember, you're only in the queue for that product, so if you wanna sign up for multiple products, like a 3070, a 3080, 3060, et cetera, then you just need to repeat the process for each card you wanna be notified on. Now, once your card is in stock, you'll get an email notification from EVGA, and from there, you'll have either eight hours to purchase it, or at that point, if you don't purchase within eight hours, it goes back into the queue, and the next person gets called. Pros and cons, guys. So for the pros, you're in line without waiting in line. It's not like the new egg shuffle where everyone just goes and joins in. Maybe you get called, maybe you don't, then you have to sign up for the next shuffle. You're just in line and all you have to do as well, wait. Secondly, the cards are at MSRP or you know EVGA's version of MSRP. So there's only the card, tax and shipping, that's it. No extra markup from scalpers or anything like that. Another pro is you don't have to fight bots, so this isn't a drop where everyone can just go in and pick it. This is actually basically a card reserved for you to purchase. And lastly, unlike the New Egg Shuffle, there are no other parts bundled with your purchase here. So you don't have to buy a useless motherboard or power supply or whatever it is that New Egg is trying to hustle with the other graphics cards now. Um, I know New Egg Shuffle does occasionally have just the part that you want, but pretty much by and large, you're buying at least two products, which is another hundred and something dollars over the price of an already pricey graphics card. As for cons, you are stuck with only one graphics card per purchase, and maybe that's not really a con, but maybe you're trying to do an SLI with two 3090s. Uh, sorry, you only get one card. Secondly, this is the EVGA Q system, so you are limited to only EVGA cards. So if you wanted an MSI card or some other card, an ASUS card, a Rockstrick card, etc., you're not going to be able to purchase those through the Q system. So you are limited to just EVGA stock on EVGA products. And lastly, and I'm not sure how accurate this is, and I apologize. It appears that it may only be available in the US, and I know that's a big blow to all the international people watching. However, I haven't been able to track this down. It did start off in the US and Canada, according to EVGA's website. However, I cannot see any other updated information or any other posts where someone internationally has got a card. But if you do live internationally, you're able to sign up for the EVGA program please leave a comment down below and let other people know what your experience was. How long did it take? Were you able to sign up? When was it available in your country? And hopefully spread the word, but right now it looks like it may only be available in the US and Canada. All right, so how long does it take? Well, this card right here is an RTX 3060 XC version, and I signed up for it on February 26th. I got the call in May that my card was ready, and it took about a week to get shipped because I took the cheapest option there. So you're looking at about 60 days, give or take, from signing up in the queue to actually having the card. Now that was for 3060. If you're looking for a different card, your experience may vary. In an exchange I had with TechFTP, see his channel down below, I found out that he signed up for a 3070 back in December of 2020, and he's still unfortunately waiting for that 3070. Now my guess is there's probably less silicon available for the 3090s, 3080s, the higher end cards. And so the lower end cards like the 3060, the 3060 Ti may be easier to come by. And so you may be able to get those quicker. Now for anyone who may be in the queue system longer and haven't gotten your card yet, I do want to point out something very important to you that I discovered on the UGA website after some testing. You do have to make sure that the account email that you use to sign up for your account matches the email address that you put in for the notification. If not, it will look like that your notification went through and that you're in the queue. You will actually get an email from EVGA saying that it is in the queue. However, if you check your notifies, you will see that it's not listed anywhere for your notifications and you won't actually be in the queue to get that card. So guys, that's it. The queue system, if it's available to you, I would recommend highly to get involved and get signed up for it. 
Worst case scenario, you can still sign up for New Egg Shuffle, look at the Best Buy drops, etc. Maybe you get lucky and you live next to a micro center and you can find one there. But definitely sign up for the Q system. It is a fantastic backup, uh, for, especially for those of us who work a lot and can't always get out or can't always be available for these drops when they happen. All right, guys, if your experience was different than mine, please sound off in the comments down below. If this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the video. If the video didn't help you out, hit the dislike button, but you should have done that already. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.